What's up, guys? Happy Monday to you all. We're back with another round of Into the Flames, and today we're going to be doing a viewer request to go over the drafting tanks or the drafting pools or the portable ponds or whatever you want to call it. Uh, they asked if we could uh, if we could do that because they hadn't had any luck with it. So that is exactly what we've got on today's agenda. We've got a fire going already. It should be. Yeah, we do have fires where there's smoke. There's fires, right? Uh, we're going to take this tanker down there. I want to say this is uh, what is this tanker two? Maybe let's go ahead and take the call real fast. There you go. I, I want to see. I want to look really fast and see. Tanker 4. This is Tanker 4. Okay, we're going to remove Tanker 3. I want to bring something else in a second, but let's get this guy over there. And uh, we'll uh, we'll go through the motions of getting this drafting uh, tank set up and uh, get some water on it, maybe. Let's see. Let's go squeeze through there, and I don't know. It's got us like the GPS has got us completely swinging the block and going a different direction. Okay. Yeah, we'll disregard that. Spur knows how to get around town. We can do it. We can totally do it. Oh, yeah, we definitely got some fires in here, right? Like, we got a big fire. Oh, yeah, it's all over the place. Everything's burning. Okay, let's pull this guy right here, and let's hop out. So, if you look at our equipment, it is empty. Uh, last shift sucks, right? Like, they completely left it empty. So, we have no water zone here whatsoever. So, we're going to need to bring something else. Let's go back to fire stations. Let's go... Uh, station two, we're going to spawn. Uh, let's find it. Tanker. There we go. Tanker two. Tanker two is what I want. Three is all right, but three is a bit much, right? Like it's a handful. So we're going to bring two. Two is one of my favorites. Teleport to two. There we go. I like two. Two is my, man, this thing is, is half full too. No one's filling anything up around here. Everyone is slacking. I like Tanker 2 because it's got so many large uh, diameter uh, hose connections that is like, I like using it like a big water manifold. If I can get a good pressure boost off a of hydrant into this thing, and then we need to go the other way. The guy's going the wrong way. Come on, GPS. I like, uh, I like using it as like a big water manifold. Like you've got like, what, five or six large diameter connections on this thing, so... Like if you can get a good supply of water coming into it, man, you can you can supply water to all sorts of things. Like this is my absolute favorite. All right, let's roll them up here, and we're going to park behind. So we're going to do this video. We're kind of going to go through the whole thing, and then I'll probably do another like really short two or three minute video. This is just like step by step. This is how you do it. A, B, and C. You know, no uh, no other talking or discussion or anything like that. I like the like the quick uh, to the point tutorials, right? But we're kind of doing a little gameplay with this one too. All right, first thing we want to do, come over to your. Uh, it doesn't matter because I don't have like truck specific tools, but you go to your tanker, and we'll go to tools, and then it should be towards the bottom here, the portable pond. I like to call it the drafting tank, but it's the portable pond. All right, when you set this thing up. You can set it up any way you want, right? Like you just left click, you drop it down. Like it's pretty cut and dry. Everyone knows how to do this, right? Like it's really easy. Uh, personally for me, because Spur is kind of uh, OCD about it, I like to set like the, uh, the outlet connection to it. I like to have it facing the equipment that's going to be pulling from it, right? So if you want to do that, just always remember that your hand that has the little uh, suitcase in it as long as it is facing the equipment that is going to be taking the water, like so, it'll always be pointed in the right direction. So you see, this is our outlet right here. It says uh, connect intake hose. So it's going to be pulling water to that. This is our uh, our fill side. This is where, now it says it it says connect discharge hose. And I, I like to me for someone if you're completely completely foreign to this and you don't know anything about it connect discharge hose like that might could be a little bit confusing i i think like connect fill hose would probably be a little bit more uh uh easier to understand i guess right discharge like well you know for someone who doesn't know anything about it like well is this water coming out of it like is it discharging from it or what but this is the fill side right fill side is up high pull side is down low it's, it's as simple as that like you're pulling water from it down low you're filling it up high uh, also, this tutorial is just within the confines of the game. I don't know anything about real life, so I couldn't tell you. Uh, this is just 
within the realm of the game and how it works in the game so all right let's go get a uh, discharge five this is a large diameter hose discharge five we're going to take this guy and go over to the tank and hit e to connect it up right we've got it connected and now we need to go to our pump panel we're going to fill the tank right we're going to fill it up hit pump panel uh, let's turn off easy pumping right now it says pump override activated let's turn that off and so we'll hit easy pumping uh, i just like it i like the complex part of it is what i really like uh next thing we need to do is go to tank to pump open that up it's either on or off right like there's no in between it's either on or off there's no adjusting it so as you can see the little valve pulling in and out right there so we've got that on I want to dump as much of this water as I can, as quickly as I can in that pond. So what we're going to do is do max throttle, 1250 RPM. Our discharge is going to be five, correct? So we'll do that and we'll start opening this guy up. Just keep opening it up all the way. And there you go. We had 1250 going out, right? You can see that right there. 1250 going out. This thing should fill up in a heartbeat. Like that is a stupid amount of water, <laughs> water going in that thing. 1250, I'd say gallons. I don't know really how it's measure, measured in the game, but yeah, it's full, right? Like we're good. And what does our tank look like over here? Still half, nice. Okay, still half. So we're good with that. Now we want to uh, we want to grab some water from this thing, right? And we want to get some water in this because this thing is completely, completely empty. So we want to do um, connections, driver intake. Any intake will work. It doesn't have to be driver as long as it's an intake. It's all that matters. You want to go connect it up with E. If you notice, the line is already charged. So in my mind, I'm thinking it's like that. I don't know how it is in real life, but I'm, I'm guessing there's no valve over here, right? So like when you connect it up, it just automatically fills with water, right? That's what I say. So either way, we've got water. The line is charged, right? We don't have water going in yet. We go to the pump panel and we're going to do tank fill. Let's open this bad boy up all the way. So this part, it, I'm kind of iffy on. This is how you fill it in game, right? You like, you don't even have to use uh, tank to pump, right? It's just automatically filling. I guess it's just filling from gravity. Like you don't even have to prime it in, in like you, you don't have to um, draft, you know, for whatever reason. So it's automatically filling up. And if you watch the, uh, the light should start lighting up on this thing to, uh, show that we're getting some water how many discharges does this truck have or this engine i should say the tanker the tank has it's got two here five and six and it's got okay it's got so it's a lot like tanker two honestly like it's got a ton it's got a ton it's not lighting up though i don't know if that's a bug with the lights or if it's like really that empty but it's not showing it lighting up it's not showing it lighting up and we're pulling water from this thing we absolutely are because it's it's uh it's a lot lower now let's see what our water looks like on this side this bad boy is empty right yeah he's totally empty okay there we go now it's lit up it's half it's half full or half empty depending on your outlook on life right if you're an optimist it's half full if, if you're a pessimist it's half empty so either way we want to fill this thing up the rest of the way right this one is empty as well so what we're going to do we're going to come over here grab this guy put him back put him back with uh, our equipment hit discharge five there we go it's going away all right let's take our tankers and go fill it up let's find us a hydrant i think there's a hydrant at the station it's not that far away yeah, I, I don't, I like the drafting pool a lot. I mean, honestly, like there's not a whole lot of uh, scenarios to use it, really, if you think about it. Like usually there's a lot of hydrants available or either you can get the, uh, you can get the fire out with just a tanker itself, right? Like to me, a, dra a drafting pool is more for like a protracted type of, uh, 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 firefighting where it's going to take you a while like it's going to take multiple um multiple tanks to get it out right like it's you're just not going to be able to roll up in there and get it like one and done all right let's connect this guy up we'll fill him up real fast let's go back to uh, tools get our hydrant wrench there we go all right let's do tank fill 
Pump panel, tank fill. Open you up. We can, uh, we could probably close the throttle for now. All right, let's let this bad boy fill up. It's gonna take him a hot minute. We could, uh, we could pressure boost off of it and get a little bit more, maybe. All right, we're gonna hang out here for a bit and uh, let this guy fill up. All right, also real quick, while we're waiting on this bad boy to fill, uh, I want to thank everyone that showed up for the impromptu stream Saturday night. I just want to hop on really quick and kind of hang out with you guys and, and uh, do a little gameplay. So we did Twisted. We did some tornado chasing and Twisted, and it was an absolute blast. I have to apologize. I had to end the stream kind of abruptly after a couple of hours because uh, everyone was one. I guess everyone was wondering what happened to Spur, like why I had to go. Because I basically, like I said, oh, I got to step away for a minute, and I came back and like, I got to go. See you guys. And that was pretty much it. Uh, I come to find out my, uh, my, uh, hot water heater had over temped and it was peeing hot water out all over the floor, like scalding hot water. So, uh, I had to take care of that. So spare had a late night. I didn't go to bed till like 2 AM because I was messing with a hot water heater. So long story, we're still trying to figure out what's wrong with it. Exactly. I had the plumber came by and looked at it today. He's got some ideas. Uh, basically like it boils down to, we need a new hot water heater anyway. But uh, we got to replace our HVAC system next month. And you know, a brand new HVAC system for a house is going to be like a crazy amount of money. So we're trying to get by with a hot water heater if we can a little bit. <laughs> so hopefully, but yeah, it was kind of wild. It was scalding hot waters like all over the place. All right, he's uh, three quarters of the way. So just a little bit more and we'll be, we'll be good to go. All right, there we go. Nice, we're good with that. There we go. Okay, now it's going discharge five. I don't know why I hit intake. Don't, don't disregard that, right? Like completely disregard that. All right, let's hook you up. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. All right. Let's go pump panel. Max throttle. It's still showing us getting a water intake, which is totally not right. Like we're not, let's close that off in fact. All right, discharge five. Let's send the water. It's still sending 1250 out. So yeah, it's already almost filled up there. Uh, this guy, he's using water. Like he filled up halfway, right? So hopefully he's not going to be dumping it. That I'm still a little bit iffy. Like if you send, if this thing is full and you're sending it water and it's already full, it could just dump water all over the place, right? Like, all right, let's do this while that's doing this thing. Let's go tools. Let's do uh, ground monitor. That'd be pretty cool. All right. So for the ground monitor, what you want to do, if you want to set this thing up, your shoulder, your hand that is empty, face it towards the fire that you want to put out, right? If it's, if you're, your empty hand, right? Like we got the suitcase hand, we got the empty hand. Face the empty hand towards the fire and then left click. And there you go. There's our ground monitor and it'll be pointing the way we need it to go. Pretty, uh, pretty simple, right? Pretty cut and dry. Uh, those are the, let's go, let's get large off the back here. Let's do discharge too. We'll take this guy down here. Yeah, the, uh, all right, hit E to connect it up. Now we're connected. We should be good to go. Let's go over here. Let's hit uh, pump panel and let's do tank the pump because we don't have any uh, tank to pump is on. Let's do easy pumping. Let's increase the throttle. We need at least a hundred going to that ground monitor, right? At least a hundred. So that is going to be discharged too. Open this guy up and there you go. We got a hundred, right? And our ground monitor is working. It already put that out. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Uh, left click to control it. And now we can kind of slew it around here. I don't know what the range is on these things. I really, I, like, I have no clue. It, it doesn't seem like it has a crazy, crazy range on it. We can try it and see. Hit E to exit. Yeah, I got that, actually. Let's try it down here. Let's see how far we can go with it. 
I mean, I see the visual. The visual is absolutely hitting it, but I just wonder, like, is the range, like, the actual effective range exactly the same as the visual? And it, it seems to be, right? It seems like it is. Let's get this guy over here. All right, there. All right, let's hit E. Yeah, it seems to be it seems to be doing good on that. Just this one ground monitor, like we're really. Thought I saw some more fires back here. Let's see if we can get this bad boy way off in the distance here. That's the thing, like I can't tell. It's like directly in front, and I can't tell. Like, are we reaching it or? Yeah, we are. All right, let's see. This is going to be a true test of the range. Does the effective range match the visual? And it. It doesn't look like it is, right? Like, we see it going on there, but it's not... It's not doing it. So, it, I'm going to say that regardless of if you see the visual actually touching the fire, it may not It may not put it out. Because that it doesn't look like it's doing anything, right? It doesn't look like it's doing anything. Alright, let's get these guys over here. We're probably gonna have to refill in a little bit, guys, to be honest. We probably are. Yeah, see, that's getting it. That's what I was thinking. I thought the visual for the water exceeded the actual, like, effective range of, of the water in game. Like I said, because we had it, like, we could try it a little lower, maybe. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look like it's doing anything. All right, water-wise, we're looking good. We're three quarters. This guy is empty again, right? The pool is showing empty, but obviously he's taking water. We had tank fill open. I worked that kind of messed us up because we left it open. Let's try it again. Let's do discharge five. Five is 50. I bet that goofed us up because we had like it was thinking that it was trying to take water and so it was overheating. I think this is going to be good. Yeah, that was our malfunction. Close, uh, like don't roll up with tank fill if you don't have water coming in because it, it's going to jack you up. See if we can send it. Yeah, it's fine now. Okay, yeah, you better close tank. We had tank fill still open from when we uh, got water at the station over there. And there you go. There's the rest of our water, so. Did it get it? No, it did not. So, yeah, it looks like... Yeah, I still think there's a discrepancy between, like, the visual range of the water and the actual effective range of it. I'm, I'm going to say that. I think that's pretty... Pretty obvious right there. All right, let's go. Uh, we'll go tank up again. We'll tank up again. We'll get some more. We'll get some more waters. We'll put in here. Is this thing filling up the rest of the way? Maybe we'll see. We'll give it a few minutes here. Yeah, it's definitely is pulling from it. That is for sh that's for show. Sure. Grab you. Let's do uh, discharge five. There we go. Yeah, we're empty. All right, let's go back. And we'll go get some more water. Go get some more waters to fill this thing up. Oh, don't back into the car, Spur. All right, let's fill this guy up. Take as many of the waters as we can. Let's go back to the pump panel. Let's look at the pumping guide. I don't think a lot of people look at this, so... Uh, does it have anything for the tank? No, it. I don't think it does. Like, have any portable ponds are used to hold water for trucks on scene to use. Ponds can go fill up. Trucks can go fill up while trucks on scene use water in the port. Yeah, so it's like it's just a little. It's like a water buffer, right? Basically, like you've got a little water to use while they go get more water. Uh, but I don't see anything that's like. Yeah, I don't see anything that's like just about the portable pond as far as the uh as far as like filling it up so i don't know tank fill should be open already he's gonna need some scene lights out here you guys because we can't see nothing going on 
Go back to scene light. Yes. This guy right here. We're doing some we're doing some ops, some nighttime ops. We need some scene lights here. We'll just leave these here since we're gonna be coming back and forth. Tools. Uh, let's go scene light. There you go. And let's put another one right here. So when we see our hydrant, we gotta see our hydrants and maybe they give off a little heat too. Man, it's cold as hell in Texas right now. I got up this morning, it's one. One degree. One degree in Texas. It should be criminal. Got down to like, I think it was negative one last night. Got down to negative four the night before. I think it's going to be zero tonight. Man, too cold for me. All right, he is almost done. Where, where the portable pond and, and like tanking and this stuff, like the logistics of moving water in game really comes into effect is like on a multiplayer, right? Now I know I've had people ask, you know, we did the community multiplayer the other night in Railroader. I guess it was, when was it? It was Friday night. Uh, yeah, we're going to do Into the Flames too. There's a lot of games. We're just going to do that on various uh, games. We'll have it from time to time. It's not something that I can like say, hey, every Friday night is going to be community night. I wish I could. I wish I could, but you know, I never know like I never know from one day to the next what night I'm going to have free. So I I try to like kind of at least give you guys a little bit of uh, a heads up on it, but it's not something that I can just plan for like every every Friday night. It's just like the Saturday night stream. The Saturday night stream won't be every Saturday night. Uh Monday and Tuesday streams during the day absolute given. We'll be doing one tomorrow. A uh, Tuesday stream, but uh, like uh, just weekends are just kind of rough for me anyway. Like I said, with my kids at home and like we usually have all kind of stuff going on. So, all right, let's roll up here. Let's go. I want to close tank fill off before I forget that. Close him. There you go. You see it closing. There you go. All right, that's closed off. We're good on that. Just to make sure, because I think that's what was jacking our pump up earlier. All right, discharge five is what we need. Hook that guy up. There we go. And he should, I think he's already dumping water. Because we're not closing our controls off. Let's see, discharge five. No, it's not. Okay, let's do tank the pump. That's already open. Max throttle, discharge five, 1250. There you go. We got us some waters here. So it's working out fairly good between these two tankers. Like this dude is almost empty, right? He is almost empty. We've got this guy almost filled up. All right, sweet. So we're going to let that water monitor do his thing. We're going to grab a hand line real quick because it does have a few hand lines on it. It's got like one, right? I think it's got a total of one. Go back to the pump pedal. Let's do discharge one. And now we're going to need to do tank the pump. Let's throttle it up a little bit. There you go. 140 should be good. Got some waters. There we go. All right. Let's get this guy over here. We got this one way over in the corner here. We haven't been able to hit, so we'll get it real fast. There we go. Let's knock this guy out. Man, it's kind of stubborn, right? Like, this one is a little bit... This one is a little stubborn, man. I, I kind of wonder if we needed a tower ladder to hit this. Hit it from over. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's work our way around these cars here. So we got a few more. Yeah, we got steam coming off of that. So that's good. We got that done. Yeah, you can see the effective range. I don't even know if the water is like actually visually hitting that. It looks like it might. Yeah, it's stopping just a little bit short. So yeah, that's a good question. Is the water visual the limit of the effective range? Or does the effective range end a little bit shy of the visual i think it ends a little bit shy of it but i could be wrong maybe some of you guys know exactly maybe a developer can say something 
Uh, I know he watches, so it'd be uh, it'd be cool to know, right? Let's keep. This is actually a big fire. This is a pretty involved fire here. I think we got. Did we get that? I think we did. All right, let's hit this one back here because, like I said, the water monitor. We're not going to be able to do much of anything with it. This would be a good one for a tower ladder, right? Like to bring a big tower ladder down here and uh, you could reach all kind of stuff with it. Like we got some fires up in here too. Yeah, we do. So right now between the hand line and the water monitor, which is really not doing anything, it's just wasting water at this point. We should cut it off. We've got about, uh, what, 240 going out. We got about roughly 100 for the water monitor and then another uh, 140 for the hand line. And I think we just ran ourselves out. Yep. I think we did. We need to get some more waters. So this has turned into a pretty, uh, a pretty protracted battle here as far as uh fighting this fire so discharge five is a discharge which one did we use, we used to was that guy out yeah we're uh we're completely empty yeah let's go get some uh let's go get some more water right yeah it's red on on that yeah let's grab some more water real fast All right, we're back at the fire scene. Let's do our thing. Let's get uh, discharge five, run them back over. This is the life of a tanker, right? Like this is for real. You look on YouTube, you see videos of people doing tanker drills all the time. Go back to that, go to pump panel, tank the pump, open him up. He's open, max throttle. It still shows us that we got uh, water intake. So tank fill, we need to close this guy. There we go, close it off and open discharge five. Open this guy up all the way and there you go. We're gonna be dumping our water like no tomorrow. Nice. Nice, nice. And then it's gonna be going into this one and filling it up. So yeah, this guy is empty. Of course, if you did this with tanker three, you would only like, you would have to do this way less, but. See if he's filling up here. Yeah, he's got 350 going in. Let's grab our hand line. Let's see if we can start hitting this up. Start getting the rest of these fires out. I don't even know if the building, like does the building have a fire inside it or is it just yeah that's uh, the water monitor it wasn't a, it wasn't effective at the end we're just peeing away water for nothing so this should be a lot better we're only using about 140. i think that's what we got going to the line 140 something like that there we go get that knocked out yeah there's fires everywhere here this doesn't even include the building like the entire the entire like <laughs> car scrapyard is going up in flames Here we go. Here we go. All right. We got that. And it is. It's real bad. It's, I didn't realize it was this bad when we rolled up on it. Like, there's literally fire everywhere. This is probably one of the, like, one of the few fires in game where you really, like, the portable pond really comes into effect, right? Like, there's one, um... What is that fire? 25 Pine Road off Station 3. I think that's the one that's like the little mobile home over there. We've done it a bunch of times. It has a propane tank in the back. Like, there's no hydrants around there, but usually if, if, you're, uh, if your engine is full, you can get that fire under control before you ever even run out of water. So it's like I said, there's a lot of fires like that might be kind of rural, but you can, um, you can get them put out before you ever need before you ever need any more water. All right, that was easy. All right, I got some more fires back here too, man. Go hit this guy real fast. Why did that turn red? Why did the headline turn red? That's interesting. Right, is that because of, okay, it must be because of maximum hose length, right? Like it turned red. I've never noticed that before, but it turned red because we reached the limit. 
that just happens it, there's like literally all you have to do is just come back and get another line there's I guess it's something he did for uh, performance or something like that maybe but uh, it's going to do that like I don't know of a way to uh, to avoid it like you just it is what it is when you hit the max limit you hit it let's go back you know we had that line like drug all over the fire scene here All right, where were those fires at? I'm, I like I saw them and now I don't. Where where was it at? There it is, right here. Yeah, it's kind of hard to. Yeah, they kind of pop in and out. They're popping in and out, so it's like you don't see them, and then all of a sudden you see them, like they're there, right? Come on, let's get these fires here. This one is kind of stubborn a little bit. There we go. So is that it? Is that it for the fires? Are we good? All right, let's go back and let's gain access to this building here because there could very well be some fires in there. Go to equipment, tools. Let's just get an ax. Get this in right here. Oh, nice. No, there's nothing in there, really. Okay, so that's all right. I, it looked like there was some smoke around the back, right? Yeah, I'm trying to investigate and find uh, find out where the rest of our fires are at. There's got to be some more around here somewhere because it's not it's not clearing, right? No, it totally didn't clear. You see, some of it is showing as steam, and in other areas, it's like black, it's like burning smoke, right? There right, we got steam over here. We got a lot of nodes that are like they're smoking, but there's not actually there's like there's no fire on it. Yeah, that's dicey running around all over these uh, stacked up cars and stuff. I'm going to call this one good. I don't see any more. I don't see any fires coming out of, you know, any cars or anything. So I think we're good. We may just, uh, we may just go ahead and call it. What is this thing doing? Let's check this out again. Yeah, it showed that it overheated again. Did we not close tank fill? I could have swore we close that. I think that's what the problem is. Let's do max throttle again. Let's double check that. I think. Yeah, that has to be the problem. I'm almost certain that's what that's what's going on with that. So yeah, you have to be careful about that. When you fill up at a hydrant and then you come back to the fire scene to fill up the tank, the portable pond, you need to make sure that you have tank fill closed because when it's pumping, right? Like when it's pumping water, it, it's trying to assume that it's got water coming in and it doesn't so it's overheating the pump so you need to close tank fill off usually a lot of times i leave it open but in this instance you need to turn it off and there you go you see we filled up the rest so yeah make sure you have tank fill off or it will uh, it will overheat your pump and this one's good to go it's still got 350 going in right pump panel Thank Phil. 350 coming in. Yeah. All right, guys. There you go. I hope that kind of explained it to you a little bit. I'm going to do another video, maybe today or tomorrow or something. And it's just going to be like a very short step-by-step. -step. These, This is the bare minimum. Kind of like the DCS videos I like to watch. You know, they're like a minute or two long where it's like, you know, do this in DCS in a minute or less. So we'll see. I'll see what I come up with. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Love all of you. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe. Ring that bell. Uh, it helps the channel channel immensely. The channel. I can't talk today for some reason. I don't know why. It helps the channel immensely. And uh, we'll catch you guys in Canton County next time. Peace. No, big cat. No. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. Kitty. Oh, that's, uh, that's a MIG. That's a MIG over his head. <laughs> it's the weirdest day ever. Oh no, he just fell. He just...